What's up everyone? Passive Baller here. We are now just the second game for this November 14, 2022 NBA game day. So we will be talking about this game between Charlotte Hornets with a record of 3 wins and 11 losses. Visiting Orlando Magic, uh, which has a record of 4 wins and 9. The game, by the way, will be at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Passive Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. By the way, the spread given is minus one, and that's given towards the home team, Orlando Magic. So maybe we can just skip that part. Let's just do Monday night. Anyway, it's just <laughs> a one-point spread, right? Um, let's take a look at the uh, rankings or the standings first uh, for both teams. Uh, both teams belong to the Eastern Conference. Um, Orlando Magic, they're actually ranked number 13 with that record of 4 and 9. While Charlotte Hornets, they are right behind him with a record of 3 wins and 11 losses. Whereas Orlando Magic, they would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of uh, momentum, uh, that obviously has to go towards Orlando Magic. Man, believe me you, Orlando Magic is actually on back-to-back -back winning, back-to-back uh, -back wins and how as weird as it is, it is the reality. They actually did those two wins without uh, their prize rookie, Bankero. So, not really sure what's going to happen because um, there's a possibility that Bankero is going to play for this game because uh, he's now listed as a questionable or game time decision, unlike before when he was really ruled out. Uh, while Charlotte Hornets, when they have been losing, uh, they are on an Eight game losing streak approaching this game, so I'm pretty sure that Charlotte Hornets would obviously want to put the you know put the halt on it, especially now that uh, their starting point guard Ball is now playing. Um, in terms of uh, fatigue, well, both teams actually had their rest last night, right? They didn't they didn't play. Yeah, both teams did not have a game last night, so maybe we can just skip that part, all right? And let's take a look at the. Uh, injury list for both teams or the availability now for charlotte hornets uh, hayward and mark are still both are still both out dennis smith jr is actually listed as questionable um actually if dennis smith jr would be playing he would be a huge plus for charlotte hornets because we've seen him play you know he, he's very confident he's very comfortable going uh, going towards the basket and he's actually getting those fouls and he's making those free throws so um, it was, you know, it was sad to see Dennis Smith injure his ankle, but uh, the good thing is it's not that, you know, it's not that uh, bad and uh, maybe in a week time or who knows, maybe of this game, he would be playing, right? For Orlando Magic, we see a lot of people out and again, Bancaro is listed as questionable or game time decision. This one's going to be tough, but... I'm going to side with Orlando Magic, uh, not Orlando Magic, I'm sorry, Charlotte Hornets here. For me, they're due for a win, um, and Ball is now with them. Um, and Bancaro, uh, with that spread of minus one towards Orlando Magic, I'm thinking that uh, it's under the assumption that Bancaro is playing. I'm not really sure, but um, just like what I was saying, uh, Charlotte Hornets is due for a win. Uh, Ball already played uh, the other night, and uh, they played against the Miami Heat. Um, and that's just gonna be a, a tough assignment for Ball having his first game against one of the one of the toughest and one of the best teams in the East, Miami Heat. They're going up against a young team now, and I think Ball can actually can and will play better. Um, he would actually facilitate uh, their offense a little bit more. Um, and they, in any case, uh, Bancaro would be playing. I'm quite confident that uh, that they do have uh, people who can actually try to. You know, at least minimize the damage that Bancaro can do. Um, uh, I know Ball Ball is actually doing great lately, but um, I'm also confident with the defense of uh, the bigs of the Hornets. So again, I'm expecting Charlotte Hornets uh, to really push hard. Uh, they've been longing for a win, and again, I'm looking at this game as a perfect opportunity for them to put a stop on their eight-game losing streak. So my pick: Charlotte Hornets money line. Again, that's Charlotte Hornets money line. Peace out. Pass it love. God bless.